Welcome to the CA Multi Image Manager Display Counts Enhancement video. My name is Seamus Hayes. I'm a software engineer in MIM development. In this video, we'll give an overview of the Display Counts Enhancement, discuss the prerequisites needed to take advantage of the enhancement, reveal the MIMplex environmentals used in this video's demonstration, and finally, show how to activate and operate the enhancement. The current display counts command is used to view all incoming NQ and reserves. However, the display only distinguishes between issued and processed NQ and reserve requests. There is no explanation for discrepancies between issued and processed NQ or reserve request counts. This is an example of the current display counts display. Take note that the issued and processed NQs and reserves are counted but no reason is given to explain why some NQs and reserves are issued but never processed. The Enhanced Display Counts command has a new Exceptions option. The Exceptions option identifies the number of NQ and reserve requests that were not processed by GDIF and gives a reason why. The New Sort option allows sorting on any column in the display. There will be a demonstration later in this presentation detailing how to take advantage of these new features. The new display provides reason categories which show why NQs and reserves were not processed. The first reason an NQ or reserve may not be processed is a scope mismatch. In other words, if CAMIM is managing SysDSN at a scope equals system level, and a request is made at the scope equals systems level, this counter is incremented. The second reason an NQ or reserve might not be processed is that it is included in an exempt statement in the exempt member. This count includes both exempt by job and exempt by resource statements. The third reason an NQ or reserve may not be processed is an RNL equals no specification. This value can be incremented for both managed and non-managed resources. The fourth reason an NQ or reserve may not be processed is due to a user exit. The final reason an NQ or reserve may not be processed is when GDIF is set to no. This is the Enhanced Display Counts with the Exceptions option. For each resource, the display shows the total number of NQs and reserves that were issued but never processed. It also shows how many of those NQs and reserves were not processed due to a scope mismatch, exemption, RNL equals no, user exits, or GDIF equals no. In this screenshot, the CGQ Test 1 resource has 120 total exceptions. Of those 120, zero were due to scope, 84 were exempt, 16 were due to RNL equals no, 20 due to a user exit, and 0 were due to GDIF equals no. This is the syntax of the Enhanced Display Counts command. Take note of the new Exceptions sub-option and Sort modifier. This enhancement includes two new MIM messages. MIM 1042i is the Display Counts equals Exceptions message itself. MIM 1033i is a message to confirm that counts have been reset when a display counts equals reset has been issued. To take advantage of the new display counts enhancement, you must be running CA MIM release 12.5. In the following demonstration of the display counts enhancement, we are running CA MIM release 12.5 on a system called XE03. Both the command and message prefix are the pound sign. Let's get into a demo of the enhancements. I'll show you the new exceptions option, as well as the new sorting capabilities. Then I'll show you how these new enhancements work in with the old functionality of the display counts feature. Before we get too far into this, it's important to know that we're running in a process equals select environment. So on your screen now, you see the old output of the display counts command. Uh, you'll notice that I'm managing a number of Q names, that is SHQTest0 through SHQTest9. The Q names denoted with an asterisk are non-managed. Uh, you'll also notice that we have the issued and processed columns for both NQs and reserves, but the issued does not always equal the processed. And it can be a very difficult task to figure out why some NQs are being issued and are never processed, even for engineers on the MIM team. What I've done here is start a number of jobs that issue dummy NQs that won't be processed for a variety of reasons. This will help demonstrate why the new exceptions option for the display counts command is very helpful in finding out why some NQs are issued but never processed. This is the output of the original display counts command again. 
You'll notice I've issued hundreds of NQs, but most of them haven't been processed. SHQ test 3, I've issued 400 NQs, and there are zero processed. Um, even take notice that we're keeping track of non managed NQs. Uh, Seamus Q0 down at the bottom, I've issued 200, and still there, zero have been processed. Now let's issue the display counts equals exceptions command to help us diagnose why some NQs and reserves were issued but never processed. On your screen now, you can see the output of that command. All the way to the left, we have our queue names. To the right of that is the total number of exceptions for that queue name. And the five rightmost columns are the reasons those exceptions exist. So there's scope, exemption, RNL equals no, user exit, and GDIF equals no. For example, let's look at SHQ test 3, which has 400 total exceptions. From this output, it's easy to determine that those 400 exceptions were due to a scope mismatch. Another example, let's look at SHQ test 8, which has 200 total exceptions. And again, it's really easy to see that those exceptions occurred because GDIF equals no. As a subnote, if an exception would, were to have occurred for multiple reasons, for example, if there was a scope mismatch, an exemption, and RNL equals no, only the counter for scope would be incremented. So only the leftmost counter in this display is incremented. Now let's go over ways to control the output of the display counts command, including the new sort enhancement. On your screen, you can see I've issued a display counts equals XXX. This will show us all the options for the display counts command. Notice the new exceptions and sort options. Here you can see I've issued the display counts command with the all and sort equals XXX options. All is the default, so it's what you've seen before. Uh, sort equals XXX will show us what we're able to sort by. So in this case, we're able to sort on conflicts, NQs issued, NQs processed, Q name, reissued, and reprocessed. As an example, I've sorted by NQs issued. Now you can see in the output that both the managed and the non-managed Q names are sorted by their issued NQs. Now instead of displaying all the Q names, I'm only interested in the managed ones, so I've changed all to managed. And in this case, I want to sort by NQs processed. Now you can see the output, it's very clearly sorted by NQs processed, and we only see the managed NQs. Under the exceptions option, different sortings are available. In this case, we can sort by exemption, GDIF equals no, Q name, RNL equals no, scope, total, and user exits. I've issued a display counts command with the exceptions, managed, and sort equals scope options as an example. As you can see, we're shown the new exceptions display, we're only shown the managed NQs, and of those managed NQs, they are sorted by scope, with SHQ test 3 having the highest precedence as it's the only one with any um, exceptions due to scope. As a second example, I've issued the display counts command again, but this time with the non-managed exceptions and sort equals GDIF no options. This time, we're shown the same exceptions output, except for we're only shown the non-managed queue names and they're sorted by the number of GDIF equals no exceptions. The new display counts enhancements integrate seamlessly with the old display counts functionality. You can see I've issued a display counts command with the non-managed filter equals sysstar and exceptions options. Just as before, the filter option uh, removes all queue names that don't match your given pattern. Feel free to mix and match options to achieve your desired functionality. This concludes the demo portion of this presentation. To activate the display counts enhancement, ensure that CAMIM release 12.5 is applied to the SMPE target library, then restart the CAMIM address space via an IPL or using the restart manager. No other setup is required to use the display counts enhancement. Submit the command shown on your screen to verify the enhanced display counts feature is functioning correctly. In this video, we've introduced the CAMIM display counts enhancement, discussed the prerequisites for implementation, shown our system environmentals, and described how to activate and operate the enhancement. Thank you for viewing this video. To learn more about CAMIM, connect with other CAMIM users, and share your own expertise, visit the event management and automation community at the URL shown. This concludes training on the CAMIM display counts enhancement. For more information on this feature and all things CAMIM, 
please visit support.ca.com and MIM documentation at docops.ca.com.